Lens coatings might not seem like the most exciting topic in the world, but I'm here to change that because the right coating on your lenses opens up a whole world of customization that can really transform the right set of frames and really perfect your look. Not only that, but it can also make your glasses more functional and improve your vision. Here's how. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And I'm always saying that the perfect pair of glasses is a combination of the right frames with the right lenses, and a huge part of your lenses is the right coating. So I'm gonna be showing you a plethora of different coating options, some weird, some wonderful, but all useful in their own way. And I'm gonna help you understand which coatings you should choose for which application and help you build your perfect pair of glasses. So let's take a journey back in time and look at how coatings began. Submariners were noticing that enemy ships were able to detect the position of their submarines. How? When they raised the periscope above water, the reflection from the lens was actually causing glare and making that periscope immediately obvious to enemy battleships. So the anti-reflective coating was born. And what an anti-reflective coating does, quite simply, is it eliminates reflections off an optical surface. It makes them look better because you don't have those white reflections that can be kind of nasty. This is a pair of glasses without an anti-reflective coating and all you'll see instead of my eyes are reflections from the lights around me. So it has an aesthetic benefit, but more importantly, it also has an optical benefit. By allowing more light through an optical lens, it improves the clarity of the image. So nowadays, all high-end cameras or high-end microscopes or high-end binoculars will have an anti-reflective treatment on their lenses to improve the quality of the image. When it comes to glasses, having an anti-reflective coating will make you see better. There's no two ways about it. For two reasons. One is allowing more light through the lens. As I mentioned, more light means a better resolution of the image. But also, without an anti-reflective coating, headlights from cars would cause that, that ghosting effect. It was so bright, some of it would partially reflect off the surface of your eye. If you wore glasses without an anti-reflective coating, the light would then reflect back off the lens into your eye. And driving is one of the key aspects that really popularised the anti-reflective coating in glasses. So we now have three benefits. Number one, of course, they look better, as you can see with this pair, which is the Lagos by LAI Works. You can see a lot more of my eyes, it's just clearer. It definitely suits the crystal aesthetic. Number two, they allow more light transmission, so you see sharper. And number three, you don't get that ghosting effect, particularly when driving at night or when surrounded by bright lights, as I am in this environment here. And just to show you one more time, Here's the Lagos by LAI Works. And this pair is the Darwin by Walter and Herbert. Kind of let down by that non-anti-reflective lens. But hopefully you can see the difference in aesthetic. Now over the years, lens manufacturers have really improved the quality of their coatings. So nowadays, a good quality lens coating can do loads more. For example, if you order Zeiss's top anti-reflective coating, you get the highest degree of scratch resistance, very close to glass. You get an oleophobic layer, which means resistant to grease and dirt, so they're much easier to keep clean. You get an anti-static layer, which means they're resistant to, or they don't attract dust particles from the air, which means they don't get dusty all the time. And best of all, in my opinion, you get a hydrophobic layer, which means that when you're out in the rain, the water droplets just run off the lens surface rather than collecting and kind of blocking your vision. And all these treatments are added on as additional layers, but we are talking micrometers thick, so they don't increase the thickness of your lenses in any way. You can't tell that it's there, but it is a huge quality of life improvement with modern glasses. Seriously, if you think how often you clean your glasses, how often you might scratch your glasses, having a coating that kind of eliminates those issues is a lifesaver, trust me. And I think everybody getting a pair of glasses in 2022 should definitely be considering that. But what we're about to talk about goes way beyond that. We now have what we call flash coatings, which actually deliberately reflect a little bit more of a particular color for pure aesthetics, and also to reduce brightness from indoor lighting. If you remember, I said earlier that an anti-reflective treatment is applied to both the front and the back surface. Well, on these type of lenses, these are flash coatings, an anti-reflective coating is just on the back, and the front is deliberately reflective. Why? A, to add this splash of color. B, to reduce brightness for those of us who are more light sensitive. But C, the anti-reflective coating on the back surface stops that ghosting effect. So you still don't see reflections. Now in terms of cosmetics, to me a flash coating really completes the right frame. For example, this Reykjavik eyes pair have the jade anti-reflective coating, which is the green one at the bottom. It's a beautiful frame, 
that is really finished off by that reflective treatment, in my opinion. The 7-1 from Fasafas have a sapphire flash treatment, and you can see that these reflect blue. Again, that contrasts nicely against the orange, and I think it just adds a little bit extra to this frame. I mean, this frame is extra in itself, just because of the oversized shape, the aviator aesthetic, the orange brow bar, of course, who couldn't forget that? But as if there wasn't enough going on, to me, the blue just really perfects the whole thing, the whole package. It gives you a bit of everything in this pair of glasses. So what we often do with these flash coatings is we can pair the color of the reflectance with little details on the frame. Obviously, with the Fasafas and Reykjavik eyes pairs that I just showed you now, it's done to contrast against the frame color. But you can also make it blend in as well. For example, if you have a frame with gold accents, like this Cartier pair here, what we could do is go with an amber treatment, which is the option here at the top, and that would tie in the color of the lens with the gold detailing, and to me, that would really finish them off. So why haven't Cartier done that themselves? Well, that's because these have a specific technology called Blue and Beyond, and Blue and Beyond is deliberately meant to reflect away blue light in a particular wavelength. So rather than the sapphire coating that I mentioned in the Fast to Fast pair, the Blue and Beyond reflect a bit more blue light, specifically for displays, for example, computers. That kind of blue light has been shown to cause certain types of eye strain, sleeplessness, and it might play a role in eye disease. So a lot of people are getting these blue blocking lenses. These are also paired with a bit of a tint because these adjust to light outdoors and become sunglasses. And that's why you see the blue a lot more prominent in the Cartier pair compared to the Fast to Fast pair. Which leads me nicely on to my next point, which is the prominence of the coating depends on the base tint. So as you can see here, these are the same coatings applied to a permanent sun lens and a clear lens. And obviously on the sun lenses, the color shines out a bit more. And that's a good thing because on the clear versions, it's very subtle and it's deliberately very subtle. You don't want a lens that's super prominent or most people don't anyway. If you do want to make it more prominent, you simply add a bit more tint behind it. And on a sun lens, it becomes really obvious which color you've gone for. So we have options of diamond, which is silver, Amber, which is gold, ruby, which is obviously a pinkish red, sapphire, which is blue, and jade, which is kind of a petrol green blue. A really cool option is to have this technology on top of a photochromic lens. So the darker it goes, the more prominent the mirror becomes, as I shall now demonstrate on the Cartier pair. So this is a UV torch. It's going to expose the Cartier frames to sunlight, and you're going to see just how much more prominent the reflective color becomes. And I know I might look pretty weird now with a clear lens and a dark lens, but you can see just how much more prominent the blue is now. So yeah, if you get something called photofusion flash technology or transitions mirror technology, that means you have a lens that goes from virtually clear inside with just a hint of color to a more prominent mirrored coating outdoors, which can really look cool and gives you more protection. As I mentioned, having that reflective treatment does block bright light sources or reduces the brightness of light sources. And that point leads me nicely on to the final type of coating that we're gonna to cover today, which are full mirror coatings. Now, full mirrored lenses deliberately block out as much light as possible to give you the maximum eye protection. I did a whole other video on mirrored lenses and you should definitely check that out. I'll put a link up here somewhere. But mirrored lenses were initially invented for NASA astronauts because obviously they were dealing with that really harsh sun being outside of the ozone layer and particularly infrared radiation. A mirrored lens is the only type of coating, the only type of lens that will fully protect you from direct sunlight, including infrared radiation. So if you've got that low sun in winter, you really want mirrored sunglasses because they reflect away the sun from your eyes, giving you a lot more protection. This is actually more crucial, more important than even polarized lenses, for example, when it comes to situations like that. The downside, I guess, is that not everyone likes the aesthetic of a mirrored look, but nowadays we do have the option to customize that color quite a lot to match with your glasses. So for example, we have the white, the silver, the strong blue, the regular blue, the green, the red, the amber, and the gold. And on your sunglasses, it's definitely something I would recommend if you want them to be the best they can be in strong direct sunlight, I would certainly recommend a mirrored coating. The downside is that they often don't perform quite so well in lower light situations, which for me is actually very important. I like to wear my sunglasses a lot, and that's why I have one of each. I have a pair with a mirrored coating and a pair without the mirrored coating. So on the subject of sunglasses, there's one final point that I want to cover, which is that if you're not going for a mirrored finish, 
We generally still don't recommend an anti-reflective treatment on the front surface of your lenses. And that's for a simple reason that sunglasses are designed to block out light. Therefore, why would you have an anti-reflective coating that's going to let more light through the lens? However, you really should have an anti-reflective coating on the inside of your sunglasses. And that's for the ghosting effect that I mentioned. You will find that the most premium sunglasses, such as this pair from Barton Pereira, which are from the 007 series, this is called the Avtac, you will find that those high-end sunglasses almost always have an anti-reflective coating on the back surface because it does make your sunglasses miles clearer in bright sunlight. But again, you don't have the anti-reflective coating on the front. That's deliberate. Wow, we covered a lot in today's video. And I hope I've really opened your eyes and illuminated your view of the subject of coatings. It's a really great way to customize your glasses and it can really transform the right pair of glasses from just an ordinary pair to something really special and bespoke for you. If you have enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, it really helps us grow. And if you love glasses as much as I do, you're definitely gonna enjoy some of the content that's coming up later in this year. If you've got any questions about this video, about coatings in general, any type of coating you can imagine, leave that in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.